That was a sick game in Boston last night. It had everything. Big hits, guys breaking through the glass. I mean, the fans were going wild. All three of them. I'm not even sure what accent that was. But for the first time in two weeks, the Leafs win! Too bad no one was there to see it. I was watching the game with some people and we kind of said, hey, there's no one there. And I also got a few messages from you guys, so it's pretty unanimous. No one showed up to Boston last night. It says here they were 26th in attendance last year. Now, I feel bad for the Bruins, but I don't really feel bad for the city of Boston, because when you think about it, the Celtics, the Patriots, the Red Sox, when was the last time that city went more than two years without winning something? Anyway, last night was the perfect comeback story. Leafs get down 2 nothing again, and the Bruins just came out firing the... Rocked Matt Stajan, broke Mike Van Ryan through the glass. They were dominating that game. All of a sudden, Tricky Nick scores one. Mike Van Ryan pots one to get a little revenge for the hit. And all of a sudden, Leafs have tied it up. Add a nice shot by Strawman and a goal by maybe the feistiest guy on the team, Nicholas Hagman. And all of a sudden, the Leafs have a 4-2 win. Oh, and uh, Jason Blake was a healthy scratch. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that, actually. Now, as I told you guys really briefly, I mean, I was in a rush. I went to the Anaheim Ducks game where the Leafs lost in shootout, the whole Cujo thing. Really bizarre. But there were two players I found just infuriating to watch because I just got so frustrated. Mikhail Grabowski was one of them, and I'll get to that in a minute. And the other was Jason Blake. This is me watching him all game. He's got it. Should have passed it. Should have passed it. He's at the end boards. Weak shot on net. Lather, rinse, repeat. I thought for sure Ron Wilson coming in, you know, oh, it's my way or the highway, that he would stop doing that. And sure enough, no. I don't care how old he is. He has the potential to be such a good player. And guys, think back to the Habs game, the second game of the season. Leafs are down something like 5-1, might have been 6-1 at this point. He scores a goal and he's like, yeah! Dude, we're getting our asses kicked. Something needs to change there. And then watching Grabowski, it was just kind of this little neutral zone floaty dance all game. And then someone would jump him for a pass, like one time out of nine, and he would get sprung on like not even a partial break, and get kind of an exciting shot, and for a brief second all the fans would go, Woo! He hasn't scored yet though! Don't get me wrong, I think he's got a lot of talent and he will develop, it's just... Come on. But getting back to the Leafs and Bruins, these are the kinds of games you need to expect from the Leafs all season long. Grind it out, get scrappy, don't give up. Story of the underdog. Bottom line, the Leafs win 4-2, first time in two weeks. Thank goodness. Seven points in seven games. Couple things I want to mention because I've been getting a lot of messages asking me questions. Who should start in goal for the Senators against the Leafs? Now, if you're an angry Sens fan, the automatic answer is Alex Ald. I agree, like, so much, you know? Wrong. I say bring on Gerber. See, now it's, you're crazy. You're crazy. Just hear me out, okay? Obviously, I want the Leafs to win, but let's pretend for a second I want the Sens to win, okay? I don't, but let's pretend. Let's pretend. The Leafs, other than last game, have this wretched time trying to generate offense. If Gerber plays well and the Sens win, it's a confidence booster for him. If they lose something like 4-1 then you definitely need to go to the drawing board and get Alex Hall in net. There's no questions after that. None. Now, of course, you're going to be angry about the loss to Florida the other day, obviously 3-1. A couple of the goals weren't that great. But Anderson for the Panthers played out of his mind. No one was going to win that game but the Panthers. Last thing I'm going to mention, the Calgary Flames had an amazing comeback yesterday, and Jerome McGinley got a hat trick. Hey, Avery, is that exciting enough for you?